What's going on guys? Uh, today we're going to be looking at Sega and installing um, a couple of different uh, Sega emulators on Emulation Station. Um, just to uh, preface this uh, ahead of time, I apologize that this is hard to view. Um, I just got myself a 4K monitor woo, and um, kind of working out the bugs and everything of exactly what it's like to record I don't know if this is in 4K or just on a 4K, uh, but yeah, I'm uh, making an attempt here to make sure everything is uh, visible and legible and everything. So drop a comment if you can't read it or have a suggestion, you know. So um, we're going to be doing Fusion, uh, which is a really awesome emulator uh, because with it you get the Sega Master System, Game Gear, Genesis, and Sega CD. Uh, that's freaking awesome, you know, so you can roll all those into one emulator today We're only going to be doing the Genesis, which is okay um, But you can just reduplicate all this in your systems config file for any other system that you want to do um, And it's real simple and real easy to do so um, What we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and open up our emulation station file uh, It should be already installed if it's not uh, Click right here and I have a quick basic guide on how to install emulation station. Uh, we're going to see users, our name, you know, your name, and then emulation station. And um, this should be the basic things that you see in here. Nothing in systems and stuff like that. So uh, let's go ahead and first put our ROMs in. So we'll create a new folder here just to do it step by step. And we'll call it ROMs. We'll open that up and then for today's demonstration I have my Echo the Dolphin uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, also want to create a folder it's Genesis because that's the system that we're going to be putting in today and we're going to just drag and drop it in there so hoorah so that's done we're ROMs are done here uh, go back and we go into systems and we're going to open up and uh, fusion which I will give you a link down below you can go download it yourself and we're gonna take fusion Aha, fusion ho DBZ yes no and we're gonna go ahead and drop it into the systems uh, quick fix here we do want to probably keep this nice and clean so let's make a fusion folder and put it in there so that way if we were to drop other systems in here it's not a big fat mess uh, so we have emulation station. We have our ROMs and systems um, In systems we have fusion spelled correctly and then a fusion here as well with the executable um, Go ahead and close this down and keep it nice and tidy. So if uh, We've gone through any of these before you know already uh, What's our next step is going to be the systems configuration file? Of course, this is the big configuration part here for emulation station um, so what you want to do is go ahead and kind of copy down what I have here but make sure of course that all your paths match what is in your system so um, Genesis Sega Genesis here um, are gonna be universal everybody should have that um, the path is going to be we keep it in emulation station for simplicity sake So, you know emulation station ROMs plural and then Genesis uh, Looks good looks good and then our game in here and you would have multiple games if you want them in there so uh, Next is going to be extensions This is kind of like a conglomeration of all the extensions that I found and other people have found that Sega kind of falls under I don't know if I've seen all these being used. Mostly I see the dot uh, GEN, the dot gen, and of course zip. But the other ones could be used as well. Don't worry about it. Just put them all in for safety's sake. Uh, and then that way, whatever you drop in there with your eyes closed into that ROMs Genesis folder should be accepted. So uh, yeah, uh, doesn't take too long to put them in. Um, we're gonna do percent home path percent. And then the path here so that way it's always under the right file and folder and then of course fusion fusion ho dot uh, exe in um, our systems so that should match that that's the biggest most confusing part always for a lot of people is just making sure that you get all that down um, 
I would suggest even maybe taking this and taking all the names out and like just commenting out or whatever and pasting it below. That way you always have it on hand. You can always add new stuff in if you want to. Um, Rom Raw, yay. Uh, platform Genesis and Theme Genesis. Awesome. And that's really it. That's all you really need to do. Um, Control S to save. And you should be good to go. Um, it doesn't take a lot. Fusion is very simple to install because it's just a drag and drop. It doesn't have some install wizard or whatever. You can delete it. You can put a new one in. Um, we won't really do anything with Fusion here. Um, as far as configuration setup, you guys can do that on your own later. And tweak and get it to work with whatever gamepad you have or whatever. I have my Xbox 360 controller. So yes, um, we'll go ahead and pull this off to the side over here. Clean this up. I'm still getting used to using this gigantic monitor. And at this point, we're ready to start up emulation station. So uh, we're going to turn our controller on first because we know to do that. Otherwise, emulation station will scream at us. And um, I apologize if this wigs out all over the place. Funky resolution for this to run at, but it should look freaking awesome. Whoa, that's big on this side. All right, that's what she said. <laughs> um, hit A and Echo the Dolphin. Yay, it read our game. And A one more time to start it, crossing our fingers. And there it is, it started up. Um, cool, that's it. That's It's running now, we're good to go. Uh, you can see Echo here, he's gonna be swimming along. And if I just click right here, you'll see all of the other um, systems that this can take. I believe with the Sega CD, you'll need a BIOS. It's extremely easy to find. Just go online and Google it, and you'll find a bunch of places to download it. Um, there could even be a small tutorial out there somewhere on where to drop that BIOS, but I'm pretty sure it'll just look for it or whatever, you know. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's all there is. To uh, we'll go back here. We'll close it back out. The screen is just going bonkers. <laughs> Uh, all right, cool. And that's it. That's all you guys have to worry about. That's really simple and really easy to do. And then, of course, if you're going to drop in other systems, um, basically what you do is you would just duplicate this again, and then you would populate it with the other things, um, with Sega CD and Sega Master System. But you would always use this path here. Um, and it would just all call, it's called back to Fusion every single time. That's it, man. That's all there is to it. Uh, guys, thanks a lot. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're running into any problems. And um, happy emulating.